and welcome to Stage Here. Actually, your next performer you may have seen this guy uh, remodeling houses on television, but he's here to make you guys laugh tonight. Please give a warm round of applause for Peter Marr, everybody. Get him up here. One more time for Rich. Yeah, everybody. This I don't know to call him Rich or Richie. So it's Rich. Yeah, everybody. Uh, I just turned 39 this year, and um, if you thank you, if you uh, if you guys haven't reached this age, the rumors are true. All those old injuries you get earlier in life when you were a stripper really come back to haunt you right about now. Yes, yeah, said it. I was a stripper. And you know what, fellas? Don't believe Magic Mike, okay? It's not like women and parties and more women and more parties every night of the week. No, it's like three nights a week tops, okay? Four on a good week. No, it's awesome, man. How many jobs are out there where you get to show up and women go nuts? It doesn't happen in accounting, probably. Maybe not at the auto shop. Rhino, does that happen to you, man? That's why I love Because he's Rhino, everybody. That's right. Now, Rhino and I know this, and the ladies know this, but guys, women don't show up at strip clubs all enthusiastic like that, okay? They usually show up a little like, oh my god, disgusting. I can't believe Tammy brought us here. Such a whore. Oh. And sure enough, an hour and a half later, they're like, whoa, 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 take it off! <laughs> and I love it, because it proves that women can be animals too. <laughs> Okay, it proves that some women can be animals too. Which throws off the curve, because we know all guys are animals, right? But we know not to act like that in a strip club, because the moment we do, that 700-pound gorilla that let us into the club will take us right the fuck back out of the club. you will be like, ah, what are you doing? I told you, do not touch the women. Not even in your mind. Here's a thought. Um, you guys ever wonder what Kermit the Frog would sound like if he could do an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression? Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> thank you, thank you, and welcome to the... Uh, 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 what are you doing? Get out of here! Uh, go to the chopper now! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I was curious. I was curious. I didn't know. No, uh, the place I danced at was called Dipsticks. <laughs> And it was clever, I know. But it was next to a titty bar called Lipsticks. And this level of clever can only be placed in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Now, uh, if you guys haven't been to Iowa, I, I assure you, there are so many gorgeous women there. Like, absolutely, like, I, 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 ooh, gorgeous. However, there's a very large population of women that could tear up any young man with a cowboy hat and a banana hammock on, okay? And it's scary, too, man. There were nights where I did not want to go on stage because there is no security at the old dipsticks. No, I'd look out and I'd just see, like, a whole just herd of them, and there'd be, like, a pride waiting in the back, and they'd just be sitting there looking at me, just like... Come to mama, boy. <laughs> oh, scary. I'd just walk out on the stage and be like, <laughs> I don't. I was like walking onto the Serengeti with a ribeye strapped to your nuts. That's what it was like. But uh, here's my point, people. Here's what I'm really trying to tell you pay attention to your children, okay? It's that simple. Just pay attention to them. I don't know, read them a book. Don't make them sit in front of Gilligan's Island for the first seven years of their life. And then they won't end up on a stage somewhere later in life trying to get acceptance and attention from people they don't even know. Huh? Isn't that right, comics in the back? Yeah. All right. I'm not going to leave you with that. I'm going to leave you with this. Some microphone noise. And... <laughs> You see how I improv that? I heard it and then I called it out. Yeah. Oh my god, it's clever. <laughs> this is a, uh, a Friday night poker game at uh, Donald Duck's house. Okay. It's Homer Simpson, Hank Hill from King of the Hill, Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, the Pillsbury Doughboy, and of course Donald Duck. Right. 
Oh! Well, I got her for it, Jay. This game is so stupid. God damn it, Homer, I told you, you won again. I tell you what. Like, hey, Scoob, if you poke this fat kid in the belly, he squeals. Check it out. <laughs> Cut it out, you bastard. I do it again. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out, everybody.